Hi everyone. Uh, as discussed in the previous session, uh, uh, we are going to upgrade our Oracle eBusiness database from 12C to 19C. Uh, so we'll be following a step by step process what has been explained in this document. Uh, so let's discuss about this upgrade. In this article, we are going to see how to upgrade Oracle eBusiness Suite uh, running on uh, release 12.210 with Oracle database uh, 12C to Oracle database uh, 19C 19.12. When upgrading your Oracle eBusiness to Oracle Database 19C, your database will be converted to the multi-tenant architecture with a container CDB and a single pluggable database. Only multi-tenant architecture database are certified for Oracle eBusiness suite with uh, Oracle Database 19C. During the upgrade, you will also perform steps to migrate directories defined for PLSQL file I/O to database uh, directory ob objects. This requirement is due to the uh, D support in uh, Oracle Database 19C of the UTL file directory database initialization parameters. So here is my environment. Uh, so the current database is 12102 and the target database is 19.12. Uh, the database size is 100 GB and the EBS version is 12.210. Uh, the operating system is uh, Oracle Linux 7.6 and the source data source Oracle Home is uh, this is the location and the target Oracle home is location and the instance name is uh, dev. So I do have an instance which is readily available, uh, which is running on 12.102 and 12.210, which you, which the screenshots I provided for you. And yeah, here is the, you know, running instance. You can always go to the about Oracle applications and you can verify that my database is on running on 12.102 and Oracle application is 12.102. So we'll be following, uh, these are the support nodes. So one is the uh, interoperability nodes, which has all the steps to uh, you know, upgrade your database to 19C and the UTL file directory uh, you know, changes are mentioned uh, in this particular note ID. And the consulted list of patches, uh, we can follow this particular note. So first, th the first thing is we need to download the 19.3 software. Uh, we, we don't have the 19.12 software. So first we need to download the 19.3 and then we have to upgrade from 19.3 to 19.12. So uh, we have a couple of steps, a uh, uh, few steps we have to do before the database installation, then uh, database upgrade will be doing. After the database upgrade, some few steps we need to do. Then we need to convert the database to multi-tenant architecture. So first we'll see uh, before the uh, database installation. So we have a script called uh, hcheck.sql file. So this one has to be uh, run on your uh, existing uh, existing home. So why not we uh, run that? So I downloaded the hcheck.sql file and uh, uh, so let me see if at all I'm able to run that file. So it is just for verification. Oh, okay, I need to be connected as a uh, database owner right and now I can run that file right it is a it is a file uh, let's wait for some time yeah the script has been run and uh, here is the output what it has created now you can go through all of these uh, steps uh, you know uh, and you can also open this uh, law, you know, trace file to see uh, the output of it so once the uh, h check sql uh, is completed the next step is so uh, you know we need to verify the interoperability node and uh, based on that uh, there are uh, you know uh, oracle has provided a couple of patches to be applied but you you can verify so in my case uh, what i have seen is uh, i need to apply uh, this patches like you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 these are the six patches what i need to apply and also the auto config patches uh, delta uh, we should be on delta 11 but i am already in delta 12 i can verify by running this particular query so why not we run this uh, copy this and uh, go to your uh, thing and uh, I need to connect as apps apps right if you see that we are already in delta 12 so that way we can you know avoid uh, you know avoid one step so now let me go through my word document um, and uh, we are in AD delta 12 auto patch is already applied so our release name is also 12.210 
So we need to apply these patches. For that, what we need to do is uh, uh, we I, I know you can uh, run the first step called FS. These are the steps what we follow a complete uh, you know patching cycle uh, where we run the FS clone, the prepare, and they apply uh, uh, then apply all these patches, then finalize, cut over, and clean up. So I'll be starting uh, with the uh, first step. So let me let me show you the step. The first step uh, in the uh, our thing. So for this, what we need to do is we need to run the you know environment file. Right. I just stored it here, and now what I'll do, I'll just run this. It'll ask you for apps password and the manager password. System password is manager and the web logic password. So this will take for a while. So why not we uh, pause the session and we'll come back. Well friends, uh, FS clone is completed uh, successfully. The next step is we are going to run the prepare step. So this will uh, take for a while. So let me pause the session. Well, uh, uh, ADVPO status is successful for FS clone and prepare. There was a space issue uh, earlier, uh, and I, you know, I, you know, you know, if you have seen in the previous session, uh, you know, there was a space issue, and after that, I cleared the space, and again, I ran the ADVP. Uh, prepare phase and now it is fine and you have seen that it is completed. So the next step is uh, you know we need to apply few patches and I have already downloaded the patches in this uh, in this location. So we can apply uh, start applying the patches you know one at a time. Uh, so what I'll do you know I'm just copying the first patch like this and I will apply it. So in the same fashion, you know, I will just let me apply this patch. So it will ask you for apps password manager 357. So the first patch is getting applied. In the same fashion, I will apply the remaining patches. So once all the five patches are there, we can catch up uh, and continue with the session. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I have executed uh, the below command uh, where I'm applying all the patches at the same time and also uh, I'm going to I have run the finalize cutover and cleanup in one shot so if you see that uh, the patches are getting applied and after that uh, I also run the you know finalize cutover cleanup in in one shot you know you can do one at a time uh, but yeah since it's a development instance I am uh, you know uh, running all at a time so in this session uh, we have uh, we, we have applied all the patches required uh, you know before we can move to you know 19c uh, as per the interoperable patches so hope you are liking the session you know we'll continue in the uh, next session thank you